What's going on everybody out on YouTube land and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we're talking about the 10 most played video games in my Sega CD collection. So I did a couple videos in this series a little while ago. I did uh, the Sega Genesis one and the PlayStation one and folks tended to enjoy that. So I figured why not revisit this and talk about the uh, 10 games I play the most in my Sega CD collection. Uh, so just as a disclaimer, this is not necessarily a top 10. Uh, now some of these games would be in my top 10 of all time Sega CD games, but these are just the games I own that get played the most in my house, whether that's me or my friends or a combination of the two. Uh, so yeah, Sega CD gets a bad rep sometimes. There's people out there saying there are no good games on the system, but that is just false. I mean, there is a lot of like full motion video games on that system and stuff that isn't fun to revisit, but there's a lot of great games on the Sega CD. So I just figured I would talk about some of my favorite ones. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you like this, uh, look back and find my uh, top 10 most played games for the PlayStation and Sega Genesis. Uh, I think those videos are pretty fun too. So yeah, without further ado, and these are in no particular order, by the way, uh, so it's just kind of the way I stacked them up. But to get it out of the way first, because my box is not in great shape, and I don't want to set with the other ones, we have Final Fight CD. Yeah, so some of these Sega uh, CD games came in uh, cardboard boxes instead of the clamshells, uh, so these don't hold up as well. I mean, it's not falling apart, but it's definitely not in the best shape. So why Final Fight CD? Uh, so this game is a great game. It's very close to the arcade version. Uh, this game is better than the Super Nintendo version, which was the other main port out at the time. Uh, this game actually had all three playable characters in it, unlike uh, the Super Nintendo, which uh, did not have Guy as a playable character. Um, but yeah, this is a great game. You can also do two-player co-op, which wasn't in the uh, Super Nintendo version. And this has much better uh, CD quality sound, too. Uh, so yeah, Final Fight CD, it's a great game. And at the time, it was the best, play to, best way to play this game at home. So yeah, if you have a Sega CD, definitely suggest picking up Final Fight CD. So yeah, that's the first game off the list. Second game probably wouldn't be on a lot of people's list, but it definitely is on mine. We have Bouncers. So yeah, uh, Bouncers, I feel like this is a hidden gem on the Sega CD. Uh, a lot of people don't talk about this game. Um, this is a very arcadey style sports game. I love arcadey style sports games. Um, so this one definitely fits in with that category. This is a lot of fun playing with friends. Uh, so this is a very unique sports game. You actually play as the basketball, and there's a lot of different basketballs that you can choose from. The characters are really neat and interesting. There's power-ups in this game. Um, you can use your opponent to try to score. Um, so you, it's basically kind of like momentum, too. So you want to get momentum so you can get into your, uh, your uh, you know, hoop or whatnot. But it's a lot of fun. It's not a very deep game, but if you got two people playing, this is a really, really fun game. And in the future, I might talk about this a little bit more in another video. But until then, this is cheap. If you guys have a Sega CD, pick up Bouncers. You won't be disappointed if you like arcade style sports games. All right, so next up, if you guys have been watching my channel for any period of time, you know I love platformers and action platformers, adventure platformers, you know, 2D for the most part. I do like 3D platformers too. But we have Wild Woody. So admittedly so, this isn't the greatest game in the world, but it is a fun platformer on the Sega CD. Um, this game is definitely full of that 90s attitude. Uh, you know, this was back when they were trying to make mascots out of everything, so I figured that, uh, they figured why not a pencil, I guess. Uh, this game has some suggestive material in it, um, but it's nothing that a kid can't play. But it's a pretty decent platformer, it's fun, it, it's fun to hear what Wild Woody has to say. Um, pretty basic game, but it's definitely one I play a lot, and it's one I spent a decent amount of time when I first bought it. So yeah, if you guys like 2D platformers, pick up Wild Woody on the Sega CD. I think that game's getting a little bit pricey now, so if you don't want to spend money on it, you know, just emulate it, right? Alright, so next up, we have Batman Returns. So yeah, Batman Returns, not... 
the best game on the Sega CD as a whole. Um, but they added Batmobile stages to this game um, that the uh, Sega Genesis counterpart didn't have. And to me, those Batmobile stages are worth a playthrough in their own right. Um, it really shows off what the Sega CD could have done, uh, you know, could do. A lot of games didn't take advantage of the hardware, to be honest with you, but those Batmil Batmobile stages in this game really show that off, and I absolutely love this game. It's a fun game, but like I said, the racing combat parts are the best. But yeah, Batman Returns, pick it up if you don't have it, um, and if you're interested in seeing what that hardware could actually do. So yeah, Batman Returns, very, very fun game. Another incredibly fun game. Uh, this game is Robo Aleste. So this is basically a vertical shooter. Um, if I remember correctly, this is in the same um, family as Musha, if I remember correctly. Forgive me if I'm wrong. This is a very hard game, but uh, it's one that will make you want to keep on playing to try to get better. Uh, but yeah, vertical shooter for the uh, Sega CD, really, really good one. One of the best ones on the Sega CD. Uh, horizontal shooters, I would probably go with uh, Lords of Thunder. Unfortunately, I don't have that game, though. It would probably make this list. But Robo Lest, fantastic game. If you guys have played uh, Musha, then you're going to like this. Soundtrack is fantastic. Enemies are clever. Uh, just a really, really fun game. So, yeah, if you guys like vertical shooters, check out Robo Lest on the Sega CD. All right, so next up, an absolute classic, and what I believe could have been one of the downfalls of the Sega Saturn, we have Sonic CD. And by that, I mean the uh, Sega Saturn should have had a uh, Sonic game at launch. But anyways, we're not talking about the Saturn today. Sonic CD, very, very fun uh, 2D platformer with speed. I mean, if you, play, if you played Sonic 1, 2, or 3, then you kind of get the gist of what Sonic CD is. This one did use a couple different um, mechanics in it, like the past and the future mechanics and stuff like that. But it is a really, really fun uh, Sonic game. And uh, the bonus stages in this game really, once again, showed the power and what the uh, Sega CD console could do. So yeah, it's definitely a must-get. Um, Metal Sonic is in this game. If you guys have a Sega CD, you should have Sonic CD. It's, it's just a staple. Alright, so this one is cheating a little bit. Technically, there's 11 games in this video, but I couldn't pick between these two. We have The Terminator and Demolition Man. Uh, so, yeah, both of these games are, I don't know, action-adventure, some platforming, you know. But the soundtracks, the music, the sound effects in these games are absolutely fantastic. Uh, these games are a whole lot of fun. Uh, neither one of them is overly cheap. That's why I got the uh, disc only of these. But if you like action adventure games with killer audio and soundtracks, then you can't go wrong with Demolition Man or the uh, Terminator. But yeah, those are some great games that I love playing on the uh, Sega CD. And just two games that really uh, take away that negativity of the Sega CD that they don't have any actual real games on the system. Alright, so next up, probably my favorite platformer on the Sega CD, we have Mickey Mania. So yeah, uh, you know, a lot of these games did release on the Sega Genesis or the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. Um, but yeah, Mickey Mania is fun on the Sega Genesis. I just feel like the Sega CD version is better. I mean, you know, there isn't a whole lot of ed added features to it. But the uh, CD quality sound is what really sets me over the top with this game. Absolutely love this game. If you like platformers and you like Mickey Mouse, this is definitely one to check out. And I feel like this is a staple for any Sega CD collection. So yeah, Mickey Mania, definitely on my list of the top 10 played games in my collection. Alright, so next up, we gotta throw a fighting game in here. So we have Samurai Showdown. So I feel like this is a good port of the game. Um, I actually like the 3DO version better than this, um, but I played that much later on in life. But Samurai Showdown, great Sega CD game. Really, really fun weapons-based combat game in general. 
Um, this game sounds good. It looks good. It was one of the best ports from the arcade back then, at least to me it was. But yeah, Samurai Showdown, really, really fun fighting game. Uh, you also can't go wrong with the original Mortal Kombat on the Sega CD if you want to check that one out. But Samurai Showdown gets my pick. I love this game. So much fun. And last up, but definitely not least, we have Road Rash on the Sega CD. So yeah, uh, Road Rash. This is going to make my top 10 in most systems if I have this game for that system. I love Road Rash. I've loved it ever since I was a kid. Uh, some of the iterations for the PlayStation and the uh, Nintendo 64 didn't really do it all that well for me. And this isn't the best port of this game. Um, I actually like the 3DO version of this game a lot, lot more. But Road Rash, it's a good game on the Sega CD. I would actually prefer playing this over the Saturn version, if that makes any sense. But it's a uh, combat game, motorcycle combat game. But it is so much fun. And if you guys have a Sega CD, this game isn't overly expensive. At least not that I remember it. Um, but this is definitely one that you want to pick up if you like racing combat mixed. But yeah, Road Rash on the Sega CD, definitely in my top 10 most played games. And you know, real quick, I want to throw out, you know, I already mentioned Mortal Kombat. You know, NBA Jam is another game that's really great for the Sega CD. It's got a fantastic port on there. Um, yeah, so those are uh, two games that almost made this list. And there's a bunch more. I like the Chuck Rock and Chuck Rock 2 games on the uh, Sega CD. There's a bunch of great games on that system. So if you guys haven't, because you hear that it's a terrible system, uh, go out and look at the library and learn about the system because you will find some hidden gems in there for sure. Like I said, a system I love to collect. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the Sega CD. Do you have one? Uh, do you collect a bunch of games for it? I would love to hear from you guys and I'd love to have a little conversation about the Sega CD. And what was your favorite game in my top 10 here? I would love to know. But guys, that is probably going to do it. But first, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And if you know anybody who might like this kind of content, please share the video around. I'm always looking to grow the channel. But for now, guys, I think I'm going to go open up some more boxes, maybe play some video games, try to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.